Can you imagine a more seamless way to experience virtual reality than through contact lenses? It's the ultimate form. Think about it. We'd be looking at the future where VR blends in so smoothly that it finally becomes unobtrusive of our natural world and to people around us. And yet instead, why do companies continue to invest in the development of bulky and uncomfortable headsets? In this video, I will zoom in on the biggest technological barriers to developing VR contact lenses, explore the current state of such developments, and discuss where they may finally become a reality. The development of VR contact lenses would require including micro displays capable of projecting images directly onto the retina, sensors for tracking eye movements and hand gestures, and possibly even brainwave sensors for interface control. At the core of this challenge are the limitations of current technology in four key areas – miniaturization, power supply, display technology, and biocompatibility. Let's look at each of them one by one. The miniature Miniaturization of electronic components has been advancing rapidly. All the tech is becoming smaller, thinner, and faster. Yet, integrating them into a device as small and flexible as a contact lens is a very unique challenge. Eye contacts for VR and AR would need to incorporate extremely tiny yet powerful components, such as micro displays, so small that they could fit within the form factor of a contact lens, and need to achieve a level of pixel density and brightness that can project clear, vivid images directly onto to the retina. Another level of complexity is added by the need for the integration of sensors within those lenses for tracking eye movement, hand tracking, and possibly interpreting brain waves for interface control. These sensors must be incredibly sensitive and responsive, yet occupy an almost negligible amount of space. They also must operate on minimal power to remove any risk of heat generation, which could be damaging to the delicate tissues of the eye. The good news is that the recent developments in nanotechnology and flexible electronics have have shown quite promising advances in this area, with prototypes showing the potential for embedding thin, flexible circuits within polymer materials that are safe for direct contact with the eye surface. In a recent study, researchers have successfully demonstrated smart contact lens capable of implementing AR-based navigation. This might be the birth of VR contact lenses. Yet, power supply remains one of the biggest challenges. Traditional battery technologies are, of course, impossible to use in contact lenses due to their size weight, and the heat that they generate during operation. Even Apple's recent Vision Pro spatial computer uses a bulky external battery bank to power the headset. What will solve this in the future is one of the three scenarios. First, ultra-thin batteries that can somehow be integrated within the lenses. Second, contactless power transfer methods that can charge the lenses wirelessly. And third, a way for us to generate the energy ourselves, such as create materials that generate power from mechanical stress, such as blinking for example. Of course, we are talking about extremely advanced technology here, because these components must not only be minuscule, but also operate within the constraints of very low power consumption to avoid generating heat that could harm the eye. Next is the display technology challenge, and it is a big one as well, because the goal is to create displays that are incredibly small, but also capable of projecting clear, high-resolution images directly onto the retina, all within the incredibly confined space of a contact lens. One of the most promising developments in this area comes from Mojo Vision, who used to work on Mojo Lens, which is a smart contact lens with a built-in display that aims to provide information overlay without obstructing the user's view. This lens includes a micro-LED display that can show texts, images, and potentially much more right in the user's line of sight. But as exciting and advanced the project was, it was sadly cancelled by the lens creator last year, interestingly citing not the lack of technological advancements, but the slumping global economy and extremely tight capital markets, meaning that there is simply not enough funding to make that project possible, which is another huge obstacle on the way to make consumer-grade VR contact lenses a reality. Finally, all materials used in a VR contact lens must be biocompatible to avoid irritation or damage to the eye. The materials used in the contact lens must coexist harmoniously with the highly sensitive and complex environments of the human eye. And this this concern is not just about preventing irritation or damage, but also about ensuring that the contact lenses support the natural functions of the eye, such as oxygen transmission, moisture retention, and waste removal. Because human eye relies on oxygen in our tears, VR contact lenses must be made from materials that allow sufficient oxygen permeability. When we start adding tech into these lenses, it is super important that this doesn't mess up the natural tear foam that allows our eyes to see clearly. 
and researchers are looking into exploring designs that could integrate micro-channels within the lenses that can help tears move around properly even if you're wearing a contact lens, and that will help keep our eyes hydrated. There's even interest in developing technology that can analyze the composition of your tears and adjust the lens properties to match your unique biological needs. So when does this all become possible? Of course, this timeline depends on whether we can overcome the challenges of miniaturization, energy efficiency, and ensuring biocompatibility. The first iterations of such lenses might offer basic augmented reality features like GPS navigation, information overlays such as historical facts or product details of things that you're looking at, live language translations, and so on. After that, in the next iteration, we will also see more sophisticated virtual reality experiences in the form of contact lenses as well. However, reaching that level of sophistication, safety, and of course comfort may take potentially 15 or even 20 years into the future. And that's assuming that we will see a continued and rapid growth in nanotechnology progress, energy storage, and material science. We also need to consider the market for such technology so that companies like Mojo Vision don't go out of business because of the lack of funding. But by making these initial strides, they provided the foundational work in this direction, which gives us hope that VR contact lenses will truly exist. If one thing's for certain, it's that the first commercial VR contact lenses will start a brand new era in immersive experiences. Would you wear VR contact lenses? Let me know in the comments below and see you in the next one.